Uh, real situation going on. <sighs> hey, y'all. What's up? Yeah, I'm feeling some kind of way. I'm feeling some kind of way. I bet y'all like, why is the tea later, lady on the live this time of night? I'm glad you asked. You know why I'm live? Because I've been sitting here thinking about y'all. You know, when you can't really do much, you think about stuff. And that's what I've been doing. I've been thinking about stuff. And whatever, though. I've been thinking about stuff. You know, I'm here. Can't really do much. Got this thing on my arm. Whatever this is. This is look at that. That's look at that. I can't. How am I going to be a diva? With a cut up arm situation. Like I'm over here trying to figure out what kind of tattoo I can get to cover this up. I, it's a whole problem, right? Let me tell you what my problem is. Uh, Alexa, down by like 2%. Y'all know she never listens to me. So Alexa, volume down 2%. So I've been sitting here in my bed thinking, right? Now, it could be the drugs. I'm still kind of on some drugs. But that's beside the point. Here's the point. And no, I still don't have eyelashes either. But don't worry about that. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. I am personally upset with all my tea sippers. Like, I just got mad at y'all. Like, Candyman went out the room. It's like, oh, God, here you go with this bull crap. It doesn't even matter. I am upset with y'all. Y'all want to know why I'm mad at y'all? I'm glad you asked. Whatever, though. I am glad you asked. Let me tell you why I'm upset with my tea sippers. Now, y'all know this whole surgery thing is new to me. Praise God. I ain't, you know, I had like one other surgery. So, I praise God, I ain't have to do this. Okay? But what I'm upset about is nobody told me when they cut that thing off your arm that it's going to stink. It smelled like earring back. I was completely offended. I was completely offended. I'm like, sir, what is that? He was like, you know, your arm has been wrapped up, you know, for like two, three weeks. Like, so, you know, it's going to have. What? Why y'all didn't tell me what to expect when they take it off? Like, I got a whole problem with y'all not telling me that it's going to smell some kind of way. I thought I was dead. Like, I'm sir. Clearly, my arm has no more circulation and it is officially dead. It has got to be dead. How do I smell it through my mask? How do I smell it through my mask? Like, so I have been seriously sitting here contemplating our relationship. Like, I have literally been contemplating the relationship that I got with y'all because nobody ever told me what to expect. So if you on this live and you've had something wrapped up and you knew, you knew it was going to smell funky when they cut it off, I personally, I personally blame you. Let me tell y'all something. When I tell y'all I was appalled. I was appalled. I'm going, sir, clearly there's something wrong with me. This is a bigger problem. Like, this is a bigger problem than we thought. It is something wrong with my body part, sir. He was like, no, you just want... Let me see, I didn't know. Okay, if you ain't never have no cast, then I don't blame you. It's everybody else that don't have stuff wrapped up for a while. Clearly, you have to get air to your body parts because if you don't, it smells... Y'all, I wish I could explain to y'all. Like, when he took it off, I was like, sir, I don't know what you got right. I had like a whole stuff. I said, sir, I don't know what you can wash this with, but I will not take this damn thing home. I will not take this stinky arm to my house. Now, I don't know what you're going to do. I don't know what you got over in your little bag and your little drawers and stuff, but you're going to have to wash this here arm because it ain't going home with me. It can stay here with you, but it is not going home with me. Okay? All right, so... He washed it off a little bit, but now it's in my nose. Like now the smell is in my nose. Like it's in my nose. I'm like, okay. Okay. I wasn't prepared for what I just encountered. So I like had a whole like meltdown in the, in the thing. Like I don't even understand why that has to stink. And what, okay. So whatever. So people have been asking me what, what, so you didn't think it was going to stink at, 
No, sis. I didn't think it was going to stink. I understand it was in there for like two weeks, two, three weeks, but no, not like that. Sis, no. To answer your question, I did not think it was going to smell at all. Like I thought it was going to be still fresh like it was when I went into... Okay, let me just tell you this. When I went into surgery, I smelled great. All my stuff was washed. I'm good. I expected when you finish doing what you're doing to leave me like you found me. Okay? Not to have this on my... Okay. So people have been asking me, Latika, what happened to your arm? Now, you know, when well, I'm my arm, my finger. So I didn't want to tell anybody because I, I don't really know whether I should be like, I don't even know. Like, I don't even know how I should feel. So I'm going to share with you what actually happened to my thumb. Okay. So in October of last year, I decided that I would hire a personal trainer. Okay. Got me a personal trainer. I've used them before in the past. You know, I'm going to use a personal trainer. I'm ready. I got my matching outfit on. You know how we do. Whatever. We got our matching outfit on. We is ready. This might be day three. Okay. So he puts down this big tire on the floor. So what I supposed to do is get into the plank position and walk my hand up the tire and back down the tire. Simple. Okay. He had told me, Latika, you probably want to cut your nails off. I'm like, why I got to cut my nails off to work out? Bruh, I need to have my nails. I need to have everything. I need to do all this. He was like, I'm just telling you, you might need to cut your nails off. But anyway, so I ignored that part. That part I didn't put. So I get up to do the walk up the tire. Let me just say this before I even say, before I even go any further. If you laugh at me, I am going to unfriend you. That is just period. Because I don't want to be made fun of. Like, that's not what I want. You understand? So let me say what I did. I went up the thing. Like, I went up the thing successfully. Excuse my dog. I went up successfully. I just didn't come down. I didn't clear it. Like, I didn't. Zeus, really? I didn't clear the tire, right? So when I came down on my, I came down on my hand, but my thumb went back. Like, I literally, all my weight was on my left thumb. Like, don't even ask me how I managed to do this plank like this, but I did. So all of my weight was on my thumb. Now, I don't even realize this happening yet. So I did finish the plank successfully. However, when I stood up, my thumb was on my shoulder. Now, it went back that far, but you get my point. My thumb was like a kickstand. My thumb was all the way back to my wrist. Now, who are those laughing things coming from? Who look, who things are those? I stood up because I'm looking at my thumb hanging on my hand like, okay, this can't be right. So I popped it back. I was like, oh, boom, I popped it back. Okay. So I finished my workout. The guy tells me, hey, don't worry about it. Put a little ice on it because it's not broken because I could wiggle it. He said, it's not broken. Now, y'all don't think I'm kidding. Now, everybody I've told this to don't believe this second part, but it's the truth. He told me to go home, put ice on it, and put pepper on it. Now, when he said pepper, I said, let me make sure. I'm, okay, you mean like, what kind of pepper? Black pepper? Like McCormick's black pepper? He said, yes. Black pepper. So I am over my sink. Don't use up all my goddamn ingredients trying to get my finger to stop hurt. I don't use, I don't use the uh, black pepper. It still hurt. I don't use my uh, Lyra seasoning salt. I don't use that. I had not use like a whole bunch, like all my season is on the season rack <laughs> to try to get my finger for hurt, and it didn't work. <laughs> so what I did was I said, "Okay, Candyman, I think we may have a bigger problem." Like this is in October. I'm like, we may have a bigger problem. He was like, first of all, what are you doing?" I said, "Well, the man told me to put pepper on it, but I don't put pepper, McCormick. I don't put the, the garlic salt. Hell, I even tried the Jamaican um." The jerk sauce, the jerk uh, season. I'm like, okay, well, anything you jerk, it works. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it, it got to, this, none of that works. So I go, hey, Bruce, salt. He said pepper. So anyway, I go get the regular little sleeve you could put your little arm in at Walmart. So I did that for like a month, two months. It is still bad. 
So I'm like, okay, well, maybe I need to get checked out. All right, so I go, and I go to the orthopedic doctor, and they tell me, sis, yo, uh, you done broke your whole, what do you say, UCL? Whatever it is, the tendon in the palm of my hand is broken. Like, I, like, it's gone. Literally, you can wiggle it like a,